The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Illinois, and we're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is Matt with Learn About Law, and in this video I'm going to discuss credit shelter trusts. The credit shelter trust, also known as a family trust, has long been the gold standard for estate planning. With each spouse able to move over five million adjusted for inflation and federal portability without a sunset clause, the issue of whether credit shelter trust preparation is still appropriate or advisable has emerged. The reality is that the credit shelter trust is still a great choice because it can be used for so many things other than estate tax planning. The credit shelter trust can be used to balance the needs of blended families. It can be used to secure assets from creditors. It can be used to shield assets in the event that a surviving spouse remarries and divorces. The Credit Shelter Trust may also protect the federal exclusions growth while portability only protects the exclusions value on the date of death. Let's say the deceased partner passed away while the exclusion was $5.49 million. Let's also assume a 6% wealth growth rate and a surviving spouse who lives for 12 years. The Credit Shelter Trust would be entirely exempt at death and worth $10.98 million if the assets were deposited in it. Only the $5.49 million deduction will be required to offset the $10.98 million if portability was used. To cover the growth of assets left to them outright, the surviving partner would have to use a large portion or all of their own exclusion. In addition, a credit shelter trust will be able to keep the generation skipping exemption. This is important since the applicable exclusion is portable, but the GST exemption is not. The GST exemption will prevent assets from being taxable in the children's estates. The Credit Shelter Trust can be an important estate planning tool, particularly for blended families. When the first spouse passes away, the deceased spouse's properties are transferred to the Credit Shelter Fund. If the assets surpass the available exclusion, the excess may be put into a marital deduction eligible trust or given directly to the surviving partner. The Credit Shelter Trust is irrevocable, which helps ensure that the assets it retains are maintained for the decedent's heirs in addition to providing estate tax benefits. The surviving spouse is usually entitled to the trust's income, though they are not required to have any rights, which accounts for the surviving spouse's care over their lifetime, while in the decedent's children have peace of mind knowing that the credit shelter's trust's assets will be available to them. This removes the possibility of a new step-parent receiving all of the money meant for the children. If required, the trustee may be granted authority to use the Credit Shelter Trust's assets to meet the surviving spouse's needs, which must meet an ascertainable standard, such as health, education, maintenance, and support. Of course, a disinterested trustee will be the right person to make these decisions. The marital deduction eligible trust would also be irrevocable. The surviving spouse would be entitled to any profits from the trust. It is possible, though not necessary, to grant the surviving spouse's spouse rights to the principal. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out our article linked below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments and subscribe for more legal content daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed the video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 630-324-6666. We have many locations for your convenience and we serve all of Illinois. So thanks again for watching.